Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchiridion, more like Adventures Creed. Just kidding. Pirates of the Enchiridion is a 10 hour long open world turn based RPG mixed with a bit of platforming and sea shanties that takes place in the world of Adventure Time. You wake up to find the world flooded and you set sail to get to the bottom of this. This game is a lot of different things all in one. There's ships and though limited there are sea shanties with familiar melodies reminding me a bit of Assassin's Creed 4. There's elemental based turn based combat sort of like Pokemon. You're sailing to different territories, running around their living areas, hopping gaps, interacting with chess, doing side missions reminded me of dare I say it Nino Kuni. Pirates of the Enchiridion borrows from all these great franchises and still manages to feel like its own thing. It feels more than just a cash grab license game. That being said does this live up to those franchises? Not even close. But I still had fun. The problem with Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchiridion is that despite its 10 hour length to obtain this game's platinum trophy, by the way this game has a great trophy list, the game just starts to feel like a drag to get through towards the end if you are setting out to see everything. If you're exploring the worlds, collecting the Quests, finding the penguins and the little candy dudes for mission and trophy progress. And that isn't because the world isn't fun to explore, it is. As you progress through the game you'll gain new party members like in Nino Kuni, and they all have a role in accessing different areas of the world. I thoroughly enjoyed exploring this game for its secrets. It's just that this game's main focus, its combat just isn't fun. It has the formula, there are weaknesses and immunities, there are status effects, there are consumable items and power points, there are special moves you can find in chess, and you can level them up with the cash you find and earn. You can also use this cash to increase your stats to balance them out more towards your playstyle. Each character has their own bonus special attack with a meter that's filled differently for all four characters such as doing damage or taking damage. But when it comes down to it, battles are just way too slow, leveling is way too slow, cash is rewarded at too low of a rate, there are annoying pickles and fairies healing and reviving each other to keep the battles going on even longer, it just gets old super quick. Don't get me wrong, at first things are challenging, I'd have to actually think of strategies, but eventually I found myself just going through the motions. Boss battles no longer worried me. The thing Nino Kuni does so great for example is that sure every battle feels like a threat but they're all swift except for its boss battles. Those are the ones that drag out and really demand strategy and therefore the game stays satisfying throughout. It's the different pacing of the different battles that makes that game so addictive. There are glimpses of these moments here but they're just glimpses. Every battle ends up being a drag by this game's end even more so than its boss battles and that's a shame. That's not to say you should just run away and not play this game because the rest of it is great. Exploring the world and completing its quests is so fun. It's just picture a Pokemon game where it's just a bunch of Pidgeys and your starter Pokemon never evolves. You can stay out of the grass if you don't care about trophies, but if you do you're in for a bit of a grind. Performance wise I only ran into a couple of random hiccups near the game's final area where I couldn't bring up the map or pause the screen, but this was fixed by closing out the game and reopening it. The game will also chug at times while transitioning into new areas. Otherwise this is actually a really enjoyable game, I was surprised by it. Sure after a while the combat is no fun, but it's passable, don't get me wrong, it's never unbearably bad. But the real star of this show is its world and exploring it, hunting down those trophies and achievements. I give Adventure Time Pirates of the Anchoridian a 6.5 out of 10. If you played Adventure Time Pirates of the Anchoridian, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up, if you like the video, subscribe for me to the channel, and thanks for watching. That's all you know? After all this time? What have you guys been doing? Playing video games? We also know that the crystal in your crown is probably connected to the Enchiridion. We've been finding pages of it everywhere. The, the, the Enchi what now? If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.